Would you like to gain an unfair advantage in your tennis matches and improve your skills from home? In this video, I'm going to show you how to do that. Let's get started. Hey there, Ramon Osa with you here. You know, I'm out here in Southern California and it's pretty much always tennis weather here. It's 75 and sunny. But I realized in some parts of the world, it's not always like that. And a lot of times you get large chunks of time where you can't even really go on the court without playing ice tennis. So I wanna show you five things you can do at home that'll allow you to beat that guy at the club when the weather clears. So let's get into this. Number one is visualization. Now you've probably heard of visualization before and I just want you to know that there's actually scientific evidence that shows that your body and your, your mind cannot tell the difference between what's real and what's vividly imagined. We're using the same neural pathways in our brain for each one. So this means that you can imagine yourself playing tennis exactly the way you want to play it. Imagine the scenarios that are going to happen when you go up against your opponent and see yourself doing exactly what you want to be doing and executing the shot that you should be executing. In fact, this is the same strategy that I used to beat my friend Josh, who was actually the guy who got me into tennis as a 50 pound overweight, shy 16 year old kid. And I really wanted to get him after about a year because he was always you know, winning all these matches. And I actually visualized myself playing the match that I knew that I could play in order to beat him. And sure enough, I was able to do that. So this can totally work for you. The second thing you can do from home is hand-eye coordination drills. Tennis is very much dependent on coordination between the hand and the eye. We're gonna get into a big time topic about this a little bit later in this video. But do a lot of stuff like you're seeing in front of you right now. Play with the racket and the ball and feel that connection between hitting the sweet spot and manipulating the racket through the air. This will help you not only kind of gain a sense of what it means to have the racket in your hand, but also what it feels like to hit the sweet spot, what it feels like to get spin, and just sharpen those skills. This can be very powerful for you. All right, number three is footwork, something that Mr. Kangaroo here knows a whole lot about. And as we know, tennis is a game that is dictated by movement. So the better we can get it moving, the lighter we can be on our feet, the more balls we'll get to and the better we'll be playing. So I encourage you to practice your footwork. And in fact, I shot a whole video on some uh, agility ladder stuff that you could be doing that'll really help your game this winter so that when that ice thaws, you're flying around the court running down balls like crazy and make the other guy scratch his head. Now let's go on to number four. Now I can hear you now, Ramon, the serve is the most important thing and I can't practice that from home. I got good news for you. In fact, I created a video that you can literally do anywhere, including your living room, that'll give you all of the fundamentals that you need to hit an effortlessly powerful, rhythmic, cool looking serve and it's called the best serve drill ever and i'll just link to that over here you can get it for free just by clicking the link heading over to my website and grabbing it now let's go to number five and this is the secret weapon this here is billy jean king's eye coach you've seen me use this in a bunch of videos and the turning point for me was when my soon to be eight year old daughter here started working with this thing just a couple of weeks ago we got on the court last weekend and all of a sudden We've got a 38 ball rally going with good technique when our previous record was like five shots. So here's why I love this machine. Number one, you don't have to pick up a million balls every 10 minutes, which is sweet. It also allows you to perfect your technique, your rhythm, and your timing from the comfort of your own home. Think about this. What do about 99% of tennis players have in common? We pull our eye off the ball. Even the pros do this. I mean, it's human nature. As soon as the ball leaves our strings, we wanna see how good of a shot we just hit. And we wanna to start to see our opponents scrambling to try to get it. It's hardwired into us. Well, when we pull our head off the ball, our balance suffers and it becomes this domino effect that leads to the dreaded shankopotamus. And that's not fun for the whole family. This machine literally eliminates that distraction. So the ball's gonna stay right here where it is, which allows you to really dial in all of the technical stuff that I'm sharing with you. In fact, you can even see how much top spin or slice you get on the ball. Because you see, there's literally only one moment in time that we can influence where the ball goes, and that's at contact. What this machine does is it allows you to feel the difference between solid contact and not so solid contact. Because if you think about it, the last three feet are really what matter. As the ball is approaching the contact zone, that's where we either hit a stinging forehand that hurts our opponent 
or a ball that floats harmlessly over the net and is crushed. Yes, when you rally your play, the ball's traveling at you from a further distance, but once you can feel what it means to hit a perfect forehand or backhand or volley or serve on this machine, you have that relationship. It becomes infinitely easier to recreate that shot in a live setting. Plus, nobody has to know how you're getting so good at tennis. This can be our little secret. What this machine is really, really good at is letting you feel the difference between a cleanly hit ball on time and a ball that is off the sweet spot. And you and I both know that the sweet spot matters. Plus with this machine, you can feel perfect balance. You can develop that awareness of what it feels like in your body and then go out and go ahead and notice when you're hitting, when you're off on balance or off balance, whether you're hitting the sweet spot or not, which is really the holy grail when it comes to tennis players, giving you the ability to become self-correcting. And the really good news is I'm working with Billie Jean King. In fact, if you use the promo code RUSA, which I'll uh, link to down below, you can get a pretty sweet discount. This makes an amazing gift for Christmas time. If you wanna get your kids involved or your grandkids involved, or if you just wanna sharpen your skills while the winter season is here, or if you got five minutes in the morning and you wanna go practice your forehand, you can do that. This is literally gonna let you show up to the courts like you've just been in the Matrix. You know, when Neo gets the Kung Fu download into his brain, you're gonna be able to go in with your new forehand, your new backhand, all the things that you're learning on this channel and implement it immediately. So if that's something that you're interested in, I'll leave the link down below and you can grab that uh, for Christmas or for the holiday season. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching this video. I had a great time making it for you. If you found this video helpful, do me a favor and click the like button down below. Let me know in the comments how you can best use this information to improve your game, as well as any ideas for future videos. I really appreciate these. And also share this with a friend who you know needs help during the winter season. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.